All right guys, so welcome back to another video. So I'm over here at the course. I uh, haven't been back to the course in a while. I've been always uh, in the simulator. Uh, so it's been about a couple of months since I hit the course. So I'm happy to be out here. I just hit my first tee shot. Um, I have to be honest, I did not warm up. So I kind of hit that a little thin, but it was fine. It was an eight iron, kept it low. I think uh, walking and just uh, getting some exercise, it will, uh, eventually I will warm up in the next couple of shots. All right, so I have about 90 yards here. So I pull out my 56. Uh, remember, I'm working a lot on alignment and trying to implement all my changes from the simulation at home to the course. I don't want to miss a ride. So I hit a little straight, it went a little left though, but I'm still on the green, probably like, I would say like 25 feet from the hole. Okay, so I'm very, very happy with that par because every time I come over here without warming up on the first hole, I always bug it. So uh, I'll say that was pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so I just walk all the way from about down there to here to hole number two. This is a par five. Uh, it's very tricky because to the right is out of bounds. So you wanna stay to the left. A lot of people play like hybrids or irons, but I've been practicing with my driver, so I'm just gonna aim to that tree on the left right there okay so that was a great drive uh, it went exactly where i where i was aiming but i think i think the line wasn't right because uh it went to the hill there so i should aim a little more to the center of the fairway uh, i did so it rolled it i'm not sure if it rolled down all the way hopefully it didn't get stuck in the uh in the hills on those hills there so so it went to those hills right there and then it kept bouncing up past the tree there so hopefully it rolled back down to the fairway and so it went through this hill right here and unfortunately didn't make it all the way to the fairway so i'm gonna have this down um hill um lie here and i really don't have that much to the uh to the green i think it's just about like 250 yards but it's downhill so i may have to and I'm, i don't think i'm gonna just lay up there i mean it's just too short it's about 80 yard layup so i may, might as well go for the green Okay, so it wasn't a bad shot considering the lie. It was a really bad lie. I pulled it a little bit, but I think I sh uh, definitely I didn't get to the green, but I think I should be on the left side, uh, short of the green. So basically I hit it through here and it must have hit this hill right there and then it rolled all the way down here. So I could, I almost made it to the green. Uh, actually, maybe it wasn't even a five iron. I think it, it would have been uh, like a six iron probably would have been good enough. So here's my ball. And I just have this for, for Eagle. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I just hit it left. I should have hit it just straight. Um, I am aligning myself much better than before. Uh, this one right here though, it kind of threw me off because I was on a downhill um, slope. So I have this left for birdie. So honestly, I messed up on the chip there. I should have done better, but um, nevertheless, it was a good part and a part of that one. Uh, I have to be honest, I've been, uh, after playing so much in the simulator, I think I'm finally getting that, how important alignment is. I'm just uh, aligning myself um, like I do at, at the revving range at, 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 with my simulator, and it's making a huge difference. I mean, the ball is basically going where I want it to go, and that's that's a great feeling. So hopefully, they'll, uh, 
I think it's paying off right now. Uh, hopefully we'll carry on to the next hole here. So this next hole is really, really difficult. It's not a driver hole because after those trees, it's out of bounds. It's out of bounds to the left. So the best thing that you can do is just play a five iron, uh, get it on and then chip to the green. It has to be about probably over 200 yards. So it has to be a good five iron. Guys, if you haven't seen my video on uh, lime and uh, please watch it because it just feels so great. I mean, when you when you align yourself correctly and it goes exactly where you want, uh, it's just an amazing feeling, guys. And I didn't think it was gonna be like this in the course because I tried at the driving range and it worked. And now I'm playing at the course and it's working, guys. So uh, apparently, if you align yourself good, it's gonna go there. It might go a little bit to the right or left, but. Uh, you're very likely to hit it where you aim. Yeah, so it bounced like right here. Got a good roll, I have to be honest. And I, I'm in the perfect spot right here to the green. It's severely downhill, but I have the perfect view. If you play driver, you can easily end up there or there. So it was a good, good shot. So it's like 175, but it's playing like 153. So I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna uh, get my eight iron and hopefully I can get to the pit. Oh, I think that was a little bit left. Oh, that's gonna be bunker to the left. I wanted to say, stay safe from the right side and I bail out in the bunker right there. So I uh, couldn't hit it better. It was, it was like a pool there, unfortunately. So we got a par four now, uh, dog leg right slightly. I think you can actually see the flag from here. So it's gonna hit a drive right through this line right here. Okay, so I didn't really take my time on that one. So I pushed it all the way to the right. It probably rolled down to the other fairway. Hopefully it didn't get stuck on any trees there. So Okay, so I got a little lucky, I have to say. I'm right between the the trees here, so I'm not I don't think I can get it to the green, but I have to keep it low and just uh punch it out. Uh hopefully it can roll into the bunker or clear the bunker. It was pretty good. It almost made it to the green actually. It just stuck, it got stuck right here. So I just need a little chip to the pin from here. Hopefully I can get it up and down. All right, so that was pretty good. It's, looks like about like two feet to the pin. Very good shot there. Let's look at it, it's, it's about two feet. So a safe par there, I had about 25 uh, yards, which is like about uh, 70 uh, feet. And I think the simulator has been helping me a lot there because a lot of times when I miss the green, it gives me the distance. So I have to play like, you know, 80 feet, uh, 30 yards, uh, 30 feet, 50 feet. And I kind of like start to dial those numbers in uh, with my 60 degree wedge. And I feel like the simulator is helping me with those distances. Okay, so this is a short par four. Uh, dog leg left. You can hit drive and just uh, 
cut to the green you you know you can get to the green maybe but if i if i hit it straight it might go into those trees right there so i don't think i'm playing pretty good right now i think i'm just gonna lay up with a five iron right there and then probably have like 120 130 to the green Okay, so I struck that really well, but I just pulled it to the left a little bit. So it went into that little hill and then it rolled back down. So I may have like a little uh, downhill uh, lie there, but it should be okay. Okay, so it went over here and then it rolled down. So it should be right here. There it is. So it's okay. It's not that bad. I actually have probably like 110 yards to the to the flag there. Went right to the green all right so i didn't hit that well uh it's on the green but it's on the last on the right side it's gonna be a long putt but that was a downhill lie and it's something that i'm not able to practice at home uh i think it was just a um, an error there i had to definitely aim a little more left uh knowing that if i'm like this it's gonna it's gonna tend to go right so unfortunately there's no way i can practice that but uh, the distance wasn't bad. Okay, so it's gonna be a long putt. I'm right there, and it's probably like 50, 60 feet, I would say. my first bogey for this uh, course here. I'm playing really good. Uh, it was really an enforced error. I, I, I just needed to align myself better. I was looking for too much break there. So I feel like I'm playing really good. So now I'm hitting into this par five. Hopefully I can, uh, I can get a birdie here. All right, so this is a par five. I need a pretty good drive. I'm not sure if I can get into, but I will try to get uh, a decent drive. All right, so I lost my balance there. I hit it a little bit too much to the right, but so I'm gonna be in the rough probably there. So it went a little bit too much to the right. And I think I have a bad break here because I'm like right here with this tree right here. So I'm gonna have to just play a low one there. And uh, well, it's gonna be a layup anyways. Okay, so I don't know what happened there. I just aligned, I was aiming at the wrong tree. So I'm still in play, but I may have another tree in play close to the to the hole. We'll see if I can save this bar. I was supposed to aim at that tree and then I hit it. I aim at this tree right here and it's down over there. So, so the line is not the greatest, uh, but the tree is not in play. So I have 138 yards to the pin there. I'm gonna play my nine iron and uh, just gotta get it high. Right. That got a little bit, it was short, but it rolled to the green right right there. So it, I guess it wasn't that bad. It, it was thick rough, so it didn't come out right. So actually it's not that bad, it's about like 30 feet to the pin, so I have this for birdie, so. Oh, 
All right, so two bogeys in a row. That was another unforced error. There was no, I just hit the, I didn't hit the putt very well. Um, I got my alignment correctly. I'm just, uh, before I got the pace correctly, this time I I had the alignment correctly, but not the pace. So, and uh, it was those short parts I need to work on those, so. Okay, so this is a part three. It's exactly 178 to the pin. So I'm gonna hit my, my six iron and hopefully, hopefully get a decent shot here. Very good, very good. Okay, so that was really good. It, it went to the right of the green and it had an awesome bounce on the green and it went left. So it should be very close to the pin. Man, I thought that was going in the hole. I mean, I see it, uh, it was rolling towards the pin and it just went like that. And I can see it now that it's not, didn't go in the hole, but it was uh, a great bounce. So uh, I didn't play that on purpose. I was going for the flag and it, it started a little, Right of the flag, great shot though. Walking up to the green, and I can see my ball is very close to the hole. I'm not sure how close, but it should be there. Okay, so I nearly hold that. That's very, very close. It's about like a foot and a half. Uh, it must have hit, I think it probably hit right here. There's a little upslope here. So it probably hit there and I rolled back to the left. So that would have been my first hole in one on video. That would have been very, very nice. Hey, this is for birdie, first birdie of the day. Still a formality, but have to tap it in. All right, so we're one over par. So back to one over par. I have to say I'm playing, this is one of the best, um, I guess, uh, rounds that I'm having. Uh, I feel like I'm swinging really, really good. I feel like I'm aligning myself like I should be. It's going there. I, you know, I'm missing some shots as well, but overall I feel very much in control. So I have two more holes. Hopefully I can uh, get another birdie. Hole number eight, this is handicap two. Uh, hole is quite long, a little bit uphill. So I just need to hit a drive over the hill and then get to the green. pretty good drive I shouldn't have that much left here uh, it must have rolled pretty good so the pin is right over there okay so it's 137 from the rough I don't want to go long so I'm gonna hit my 9 iron Good. Maybe a little short, but it was good. It's in the green. All right, so just a little short. I don't want to go long because if you get into, if you pass the green there, it's very difficult to get it up and down. So I still got a putt for birdie here. I can get, I can go back to even. Uh, there is a chance. So hole nine is 150 yards to the pin. Uh, there's water right over there. Uh, bunkers to the right. I'm gonna use an eight iron. Try to just hit it clean and hopefully 
um, get it closed. Slightly to the left, but not bad. It didn't go like I wanted to, but it's just on the left of the of the green right there. Yeah, so I think I cut it a little bit off the toe, and it kind of uh, it drew a little bit, and it stayed a little short. So, but it's okay. It's gonna give me a little uphill part, probably about 25 feet, 30 feet from here. So. All right, guys, so one over par, that's one of my best uh, rounds for nine holes. Uh, I, I feel pretty much in control. I think the simulator has definitely um, allowed me to improve a lot, especially after I fixed the alignment. Uh, after that, it's been just, uh, it's huge, huge improvement, I think. Um, I wanna just uh, say one thing. I wanna just give a shout out to a lot of uh, the YouTubers there, uh, especially the small YouTubers who, who go out there and record their rounds. Um, just want to let you know that it's very, very difficult to do that. You have to carry a tripod. Uh, sometimes it's very hot. Uh, you carry your your um, your bag or you know trolley, and it's really, really, really tough to do that. So a big uh, shout out to them. I think it's very difficult to record your round. A lot of people think that it's very easy, but it's not. You have to set aside your camera, then record your swing, then go back to it, then put it on your on your card or take it with you. Uh, so it's you know I think uh, a lot of people should know that it's uh, it requires a lot of effort from uh, from YouTubers to do that and the good thing you know I like doing that because I can go over my round I can see it later on I can see where I need to work on what I did wrong on my on a particular shot uh, so there are some advantages but it does um, it, it is tough though I have to say especially today it's been really really hot today it is helpful I think for a lot of people to watch that because they'll learn from their mistakes so a big thanks to them and you know if you get a chance to see their videos make sure to uh, leave a like to their videos as well so yes, I hope you enjoy the video for me I'm really really happy uh, with my swing I'm happy with what I'm doing with uh, with my practice with my alignment and finally got to the course and i'm really really happy with this it's one over nine holes anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching until next time